If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Well, hello everybody and happy Thanksgiving and I hope that uh, you and family had a very pleasant get-together. Have a great Thanksgiving and when I say get-together it could be just one or two of you in the family, three of you, but you know they're recommending this year for not big large gatherings so I hope you made the best of Thanksgiving the best that you possibly could, okay? So, today's review, my friends, it's going to be all about Birmingham inks. You heard about Birmingham pens, right? Right, okay. Well, we're going to do a whole lot of Birmingham ink. So, a uh, special thank you to Nick from Birmingham pens. He sent me out a load of ink. Because people were interested in Birmingham inks. They were asking about this color and that color. And uh, there were some colors I don't have. So I uh, reached out to Nick and here we go. So this is uh, just a sample of some of the inks that Birmingham, Birmingham inks has. And uh, for those who don't know. For those who know, and just a reminder for those that maybe have forgotten. Let's going to fresh it up, and I'm going to show you the inks that they have. I'm going to use Rhodia paper, okay? And we'll use a little QT on each one. And here we go. The first selection is Homestead Steelworks Slag Gray. Slag gray. All right. Slag gray. Right on. And this is All right. So, my fine friends, here we go. Our first one for today. All right. That's number one. Okay. America's Oyster Bar Salmon Hors d'Oeuvre. All right, and we're just going to put the salmon or the herb on. Shaking up a little bit. Old Derv time. So here we go. This is a nice color. Hmm. Kind of a fluorescent look to it almost. Remember we've done that color once before. Alright, here we go with uh, number three color for the day. Southside Market Boysenberry. Boysenberry, that sounds like a yummy dessert. Boysenberry, wow. Alright. 
that's a nice color. Look at that. What do you think of that one? Oh, it's a very nice purple tint yeah, to it. Really sweet. Highland Park Zoo Polar Bear. Ah, the polar bear. Yes. Here we go. Mr. Polar Bear. Beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful ink. Look at that polar bear. It pops. Bang. Okay, this is one of the ones I was really curious about. Winter Garden Snowflake. Winter Garden Snowflake. Okay. Alright, here we go. I better write the name down before I get ahead of myself. Snowflake. Look at that. Would you just look at this ink, people? If you're an ink person, I mean, if you're a serious ink person, look at Birmingham's lineup right now. Next is Ice Rink. Ice Rink. Okay. All right, my good friends. Gorgeous blues. I mean, they have come up with some beautiful inks. And here's another interesting name. War of Currents Alternator Crimson. an interesting ink. Isn't that more of a brown color? Well, I kind of, it's, it's not the gray, it's not a black, uh, kind of a crimson color, because uh, you can see some other colors going on in it. I don't know if you can see it well. It's very subtle. Put some light on that. It's an interesting ink. Would I use this ink? Yes. For sure. Here is Raymer and Brothers Confectionery Saltwater Taffy. All right. Saltwater Taffy. Okay. You know, I'm not sure if Birmingham Pins is having a Black Friday sale, but you might want to check out their sites tomorrow and see. I mean, their inks are already affordable. This one is Allegheny Observatory Celestial Blue. Wow. Okay. All right, here we go. Very interesting names, to say the least. Very interesting. All right. Ten. 
nine. We'll have to check in just a minute because we're missing one. Uh huh. Okay. This one is West Homestead Independence Gray. Is it that one? Independence Gray. Yes, that's it. Okay. That is a nice color. And the final one, a cat named Sam Pop Art Purple. Yeah, that's what I've been wanting to check out. Yeah. A cat named Sam. A cat named Sam. Okay, I'm going to write the whole thing down on this one. That's a pretty cool name. Remember I had the baby kitty, Sam? Yes. We gave away. We found a, that young couple for Sam. Oh, sweetest kitty. All right. Nice color, and don't go away. Let me just, for the heck of it, uh, let me. Let's say we have these Salomon already down there, and just for the heck of it, uh, have we done the slag gray? Yes, thing? we did that one. Okay, we already did that. So, I'm just going to put the turquoise down here, just because. Okay, it's here. For the heck of it. Okay. All right. Have we done that one? Yeah, select gray. Okay. Here's a real beautiful link as well. Beautiful color. It is a beautiful color. So here you have it. Which color do you like the most? Which color do you like the least? Or do you like all the colors? This just a drop in the bucket. That one seems it, it's changed a little bit since it's dried. Right here, the taffy? This one? Yeah. Okay. They are some really cool colors. And look at Independence Gray, though. You know, I, I know it, it's just... It's not one of those colors that just pop, you know, loud, you know, like, like this one or this one or this one or this one. It just... It's an interesting ink. This, these inks to me, right here, are interesting. Uh, so, which one of these, Mr. Announcer, would you say is your most favorite? Which is your not so favorite one? The one that you would. Eh, you know, it's okay, but nah. Okay, I think I like the. Uh, wow. Kind of hard okay. to tell. I like polar bear the best. Okay. And the least? I guess the least interesting would be the. The crimson, yes. I was going to go with the same thing. My picks were going to be, I like them all. I truly, I'm telling you, I love all the colors of the ink. But if I had to choose one of them 
At first it was a tie between the polar bear and the snowflake. Beautiful inks. Of course, the ice uh, rink didn't help matters, but still, it's like polar bear. Yeah, all the way, polar bear, but all of them are beautiful inks. And I would be on the same line as Mr. Announcer with the crimson. That doesn't mean I don't like it because I am going to use it. I'm going to use all these beautiful inks. Uh, and there's going to be people that's going to like this one the best or this one or that one. You, you, you'll be surprised how different we all are taste-wise. What may look great to us, to me, would be maybe the opposite of somebody else. Uh, we all just like different color inks. Uh, some prefer one than to the other, but uh, these inks are amazing. They really, really are. And Birmingham inks are inks uh, are making their inks uh, in house, all by hand. Can you dig that? They're making their inks in house, all by hand. And they have some newer inks that have come out as well. I haven't got those yet, but. Uh, They've got just a nice selection of ink at an affordable price that's not going to break the bank. And I've never had any issues with their inks. And I've been using them for a while. So, hey, you want a nice looking ink? A nice color? Some that pop? Some that just settle? Well, here you go. Thank Birmingham. Birmingham inks. Thank Birmingham. Birmingham pens and inks. Right there. Customer service, outstanding. Nick and his brother, his father, they all work there at the, at the shop. And they're living their dream. They're doing what they're, they've been wanting to do. Now, isn't that amazing? Um, so, I hope you find this video interesting. And you might want to check out Birmingham pens and see if they're having a uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale going on. That would be cool. But like I said, these inks are already affordable. And uh, if you've never done business with Birmingham inks, I think once you tried them, you're going to be right there with me saying, you know, that's some darn good home hospitality service there going on, brother. Yep. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed the ink show. My job, I just lay down the colors, let you look at them, let you see what you like and you don't like. But then we have who I watch a lot, uh, the ink guy. If you're interested in inks and how well they hold up, the dry time, the water resistant, the test, you might want to check out Adam Love, uh, the ink guy. Amazing job. Just amazing job. Very thorough on his ink reviews. Uh, the guy knows the stuff. So I highly recommend the ink guy, that's the guy that I go to, and he's helped me on my journey of inks. Hey, again, happy Thanksgiving. God bless each and every one of you. Hope you're staying safe, following the rules, and uh, a lot of peace, a lot of love, a lot of hugs for you guys, and please don't text and drive. Bye-bye. <laughs>